Guess what today is? Two, three. Today is day 23 of Super Psych that I made it this far. That means I have seven days before my 30-day check-in and picture because remember every 30 days I'm going to put the exact same outfit on and I'm going to let you see my progress so that we can compare 30-day increments, which I will have to do three times because I'm on a 90-day program. So with that being the case, super 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 excited i am not going to tell you all of my glows because if i tell you all of my glows then it's gonna ruin it on thursday when i go in for my check-in but basically i am really really psyched because remember i told you that the week before when i did my check-in my weight pretty much stayed the same and other than my water percentage increasing i really didn't see a shift like a major shift and it's good whatever it is whatever because at least I saw that my water intake increased and my BMI slightly decreased, but my fat didn't decrease, like my pounds didn't decrease. Like, so I hit a little wall and I had already warned y'all that those things happen when you're on a journey to lose weight and stuff. Like some weeks you're gonna have great, 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 great results and some weeks you're gonna have stagnant results and maybe some weeks you're gonna have like horrible results. And so basically, that's how I was feeling, but I didn't want to be like depressed about it. So I just talked myself through it about all the positives that's happening. And now I'm looking at day 23 and I can't tell you like my biggest goals that I want to share because I have to wait till Thursday to tell you. But let's just say I'm 2.1 away from my short term goal. And because it's Monday and my check in is actually no Sunday and my check in is Thursday, it's very possible that I'm going to see that 2.1. And it's very possible that I'm going to be doing a mini celebration, even though there will not be cake or cookies at this celebration. I will be super, super excited. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll work towards it as we can. But nonetheless, the wonderful thing about it is that I am seeing progress. I'm feeling great. And your biggest compliment is your husband if or your spouse if you are married or your partner if you're not. Um because your partner knows like what you look like, what you're going through like every part of you. And so when my husband gives me compliments, I'm like, "Yay, because he's not just telling me because he knows he should." He's telling me because he means it. So it's pretty cool when I hear little things or whatever. Um, and like just so many things. Like, I don't know. I can't even get into it right now. But my whole point is that it's moving forward. Things are moving forward and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep moving forward. Uh, my mom is still doing very well. She's still very focused. She's getting ready to start her detox. Um, she is on her last day of no meats. And then she has two days of veggies only. And then she has three days of her detox. So she will be finishing up her veggie days right in time for Mother's Day. So that she will be able to do um, regular food for Mother's Day. Which, well, legal food. But I don't know what she's planning to do. I don't like to go out on Mother's Day. And I really, really am not going out with having such a strict um, regimen. And I really don't trust people cooking. Um, perfect example. Um, one of my um, colleagues that is doing the program got wicked sick. Because she ate food that somebody else cooked. And assumed that the person made it properly. But they didn't. So instead of fresh potatoes, they use boxed potatoes. And instead of fresh um, veggies, they use canned veggies. Um, so there was a lot of things that was done with that food and that meal that made her sick. And then on top of that, she went and decided to eat steak right after she was finishing up with um, doing her, her detox. And for some people, it's fine. But for her, it wasn't. It wasn't. So that contributed to some other things that happened. And basically what I was talking about with this person was, 
you know, you gotta check every ingredient. I don't care if it's raw chicken. I don't care if it's raw um, fish. Check the ingredients because some manufacturers and some companies put extra things in food that just don't need to be there. I remember eating cornbread that somebody made and it tastes like cake. Why? Because they put extra eggs in it, extra sugar in it. Sugar? Why do you need to put sugar in cornbread? But they did. They put sugar in it. They put all these other things that you had no idea was in it. And so it was way, way, way more unhealthy than it was supposed to be. So you just don't know what people cook with and how they make their food. And so you have to read the ingredients. And so I buy organic turkey, ground turkey, and there's certain manufacturers that soak their turkey in vinegar. I can't have vinegar, so I can't do that. It will make me sick. Um, so I have to make sure that they're not making it and soaking it in vinegar, which the one that I use only uses rosemary extract. And then, of course, you got to eat it because you don't buy it in a bulk unless you put it in a freezer because it's going to spoil faster because there's not a bunch of preservatives and other chemicals in the food. Um, so I said all that to say, now that I'm thinking about it, I need to go grocery shopping. There's some things I got to pick up because I'm running low. But basically, I just said that to say, watch what you're doing, watch what you're eating, um, be mindful of what you're doing because at the end of the day, if you're not careful... You can be sick and not even be purposely trying to be sick. Like you're trying to be healthy, but might not be working. So anyways, I am not going to belabor the time. I'm getting really, really revved up for day 24. I did finally get my braids out. I took them out because I needed to come out. And now you see I have a big puff that I can't figure out what to do with. Mother's Day is coming up and I got to figure out a hairstyle. So whatever that's going to be, I will know in the next day. But it ends of today. I gotta ask my daughters because they help me figure these things out. I have no clue. I'm totally indecisive when it comes to my hair. So with that being the case, I'm going to sign off. I'm giving you back a few minutes because I took more minutes yesterday. And then I will be checking in with you on day 24. All right. Hasta la vista.